hi everyone welcome to discovery natural i know it's been a while you've seen my face but thank you so much for watching my video and clicking on this video so let's get right into it you know how i hate long intros parents listen okay so i am a certified hair coach and a lot of time i get parents contacting me to be their hair coach for their kids hair care and over the years i've had several parents coming with me coming to me with one worry or the other one of the most um most how do i even say the word <laughs> so one of the most asked about questions about their kids hair is how to grow their kids hair i've done several videos on that but one thing that i feel that parents are doing that i feel they shouldn't be doing is number one over worrying when i say over worrying there are some parents that will come to me and their kids are four months old five months old six months old and the parents are genuinely worried about their kids hair why is the hair not growing why does my child not have a thick amount of hair with that being said i want you as a parent to practice patience because when your kids are that young if you become too overzealous about taking care of not about taking care of their hair but about being obsessed about their hair growth you can end up doing things that you're not supposed to be doing so parents rule number one please stop over obsessing over your kids hair growth especially at a young age their hair is going to grow you have to be patient and i know it's easier said than done especially when you see yet another parent with a child and the child's hair is full and everything but there are different things that could be happening you can look at genetics plays in part you can also look at in terms of how that parent is caring for their hair now if you're a parent and you're struggling with your child's hair like why is it not doing this and you need help there's no reason why you cannot get help either from someone like me a certified hair coach or even your pediatrician so if you are really really worried about your child's hair growth the very first place you should go to is your pediatrician and with that being said because a lot of parents are worried about their kids hair growth what now happens is that they now move on to doing things that they shouldn't be doing number one there is no reason why you should be putting braids with canicolon or whatever on a kid's hair that is one years old two years old you have to look at the kid's head and see how the tolerance there's no reason why you cannot use their own hair if their hair is no longer enough keep that hair moisturized and just put it into a puff or something you really don't have to put extensions please please parents stop putting extension number one when you put extensions in the hair and a lot of um kids you notice that sometimes you see all these bumps on the head those bumps even though if you don't do the hair so tightly sometimes it's tight you cannot judge the way you hold the hair with if it's tight or not tight number one the way you hold the hair if you see a little speck of bump like red skin on the child's head it is too tight if you see redness it is too tight by you continually doing this you can end up damaging the kids hair follicle and they might end up not being growth in that area i've seen many people come up like not a big amount of people but there are a few that i've seen that their kids are permanently damaged they don't have any edges and these kids are like four years old five years old there's no reason please 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 for you to be putting tight tight styles on the kids head next thing keep it simple a lot of times there are some parents that want to do everything to their kids hair when i mean everything i'm not even talking about styles at this time i'm talking about every mixture of every diy they want to put it on their kids head and this kid is like under one years old these kids are like under two years old 
there is no reason keep it simple shampoo the air moisturize you can even do conditioning just a slight one moisturize and put in a style and keep the hair moisturized there's no reason to do overly excessive hair treatments on their hair if it is not called for especially when they're young and their hair is still adapting to life so your kids here is going to go through different stages and different changes so if you're a parent that you're like oh can i put rice water can i put clove water can i put coconut water all this weird combination of stuff mixtures of stuff on my child's hair in hope that by me putting all these mixtures of stuff it will grow my child's hair i want you to stop and try to advert from doing that keep it simple shampoo conditioner maybe a hoba oil a simple oil, or olive oil and a moisturizing cream you could just keep it simple like that put the hair into if the hair is long enough play the hair or twist the hair on its own make sure the rubber bands or the hair ties are not too tight and keep it moving there's no reason to put extensions i've even seen parents put wigs on their kids head there's no reason to do all that because at the end of it all, you might be damaging the child's hair and then you are back to square one. Why is the hair not growing? Next thing I will advise you as a parent is to understand that your child's hair is going to go through different transitions, different changes. Even as they get older, go into puberty when they start seeing their periods, their hair is going to change, it's going to go into different moods and different stages. So as the stages present itself, the thing that you should do as a parent is to educate yourself in how to care for their hair, in how to keep their hair healthy. Try not to focus so much on length, 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 because you will know that if we focus too much on length and not on health, what's going to happen is that we end up doing stuff that we're not supposed to do. So this video is not going to be so long, but I also want to let you know that number one, when it comes to doing your child's hair, when it comes to being a brand new parent, you're clueless about how to care for your child's hair. The first thing that you should realize is number one, create a routine. The routine should be based on the child's head. Yeah the child's head hair hair on their head it should be based on the child's age and it should be based on the lifestyle okay so create a routine when they're infants and little the routines are pretty much very very simplified versus when they get older and they're doing hairstyles and they're doing other things to their hair then you can modify the routine as appropriately as you want it to be the next thing is focus on your child's health Make sure your child is eating the right things. Make sure your child is drinking water and not overly eating too much sugary stuff and getting a balanced diet because overall that is also going to help with their hair, with their hair health and stuff. So I would say do that. And then number three, as a parent, focus on learning how to style their hair in the appropriate age appropriate way so styling their hair in a way that their hair doesn't have tension in a way that their hair is not aggravated by using external stuff so that is a task for you as a parent remember if you are struggling and you still don't get it and you're like i don't know what is going on i've tried everything something is wrong something is not happening send me a message you can contact me on facebook you can send a message in this area you can contact me on instagram i'm on all social media platform lastly i want you to know that as a parent if your child is having scalp issues any scalp issues the first person to talk to will be the child's pediatrician sometimes the pediatrician will refer you to a dermatologist or a trichologist please please avoid trying different remedies running here and trying different remedies because as your child is still developing they might become allergic to some things and when they are allergic and you are trying all this stuff it might create other health issues so it's best for you to talk to your child's pediatrician before you start trying all the recipes that are available on earth so with that being said thank you so much for watching i hope this helps you out and shout out to my parents you all are doing an amazing job i know it's not easy as a parent of a child that has hair or you are 
you are struggling with their hair i know it's not easy but remember i'm here for you and um i hope to talk to you soon take care have a wonderful day bye